Hi students, let us start. We have studied that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field such that the direction of current is perpendicular to the magnetic field, it experiences a force. This force causes the conductor to move. Now let us imagine a situation in which a conductor is placed in a magnetic field or a magnetic field is changing around a fixed conductor. What will happen? The answer is in this chapter. These are the topics will be covered during this session. The discovery of electromagnetic induction, coil magnet experiment, coil coil experiment and Fleming's right hand rule. Who discovered electromagnetic induction? Electromagnetic induction was discovered independently by Michael Faraday and Joseph Henry in 1831. In 1831, Faraday made an important breakthrough by discovering how a moving magnet can be used to generate electric current. To observe this effect, let us perform the following activity. This is a demonstration of electromagnetic induction that is coil magnet experiment. So what do you need here? You need a magnet and you need a coil of wire. Also, for detecting current, you need a galvanometer. What you need to do here is take a strong bar magnet and move its north pole towards the coil. So, observe the galvanometer, what happens? So, this is the experiment. What are the observations you can make from this experiment? Do you find any deflection in the galvanometer needle? There is a momentary deflection in the needle of the galvanometer set to the right. This indicates that the presence of current in the coil. If we withdraw the north pole of the magnet away from the coil, now the galvanometer is deflected towards the left, showing that the current is now set up in the direction opposite to the first. When the coil is kept stationary with respect to the magnet, the deflection of the galvanometer drops to zero. What do you conclude from this activity? It is clear from this activity that the motion of a magnet with respect to the coil produces an induced potential difference which sets up an induced electric current in the circuit. What is your observation? When the magnet moves, a current occurs in the coil of wire which is measured by the galvanometer. Faraday developed many different ways to produce this effect in different ways. There is a deflection when the magnet is moved towards the coil. There is a deflection opposite if the magnet is moved away. Faster movements results in a larger deflection. Moving the loop induces a current. The induced current is set up by an induced EMF. EMF is nothing but electromotive force. It is observed that electromagnetic induction also occurs if the magnetic field is stationary and the coil is moved. Which also produces an EMF in the circuit. How can you increase the size of the induced current or EMF? The size of the induced current or EMF increases when the speed of the movement increases. Faster movement produces increased current or induced EMF. Second point is the strength of the magnetic field increases. If you have a strong magnet, then you can increase the induced current or EMF. Third point is the number of turns on the coil increases. And the last one is the area of the coil is greater. Next experiment is coil coil experiment. What is it? Let us now perform a variation of activity in which the moving magnet can be replaced by a current carrying coil and current in the coil can be varied. As you can see in this diagram, take two different coils of copper wire having large number of turns, say 50 or 100 turns respectively. Insert them on a non-conducting cylindrical rod as you can see here. Connect the coil one having large number of turns in series with a battery and a plug key. Also connect the coil to with a galvanometer. Plug the key. Observe the galvanometer. Is there a deflection in the needle? You can see that 
there is a momentary deflection in coil 2 disconnect the coil 1 from the battery you will observe that the needle momentarily moved to the opposite direction that means the current flows in the opposite direction from this observations we can conclude that a potential difference is induced in the coil 2 whenever the electric current through coil 1 is changing coil 1 is called the primary coil and coil 2 is called the secondary coil as the current in the primary coil changes the magnetic field associated with it also changes thus magnetic field lines around the secondary coil also changes current is varied in coil 1 and an emf is induced in coil 2 hence the change in magnetic field lines associated with the secondary coil is the cause of induced electric current in it this process by which a changing magnetic field in a conductor induces a current in another conductor is called electromagnetic induction the induced current is highest when the direction of motion of the coil is right angles to the magnetic field in this situation we can use a simple rule to know the direction of induced current the rule is known as Fleming's right hand rule what is Fleming's right hand rule if the thumb forefinger and middle finger of your right hand held mutually perpendicular to each other such that the thumb points the direction of motion of the conductor and the forefinger represents the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger represent the direction of current so what is the statement of Fleming's right hand rule it states that if the thumb forefinger and the middle finger of the right hand held perpendicular to each other such that the thumb points the direction of motion of the conductor the forefinger represent the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger represent the direction of induced current so the direction of induced current is given by Fleming's right hand rule thank you